So, before I get into the loop of the ISFJ, I just want to bring up my friendship journals. These are just ways to help you connect with your friends, but also it can be people that you're dating or your family or other anyone else, pretty much. And so they're just questions that help you connect with each other, get to know each other. There's a trivia section and then also questions that are tailored to your guys' friendship. Just a way to help you guys grow together. And then also you would come back to it in a year, answer the questions again, and then you can see how things have changed and developed. So the ISFJ, their function stack is introverted sensing, extroverted feeling, introverted thinking, and extroverted intuition. <clears throat> And when they are at their prime, they're going to be utilizing their first two functions, introverted sensing and extroverted feeling, which extroverted feeling connects the ISFJ to the outside world. And then they also are very in tuned to the past. But when they start to enter into their loop, they're going to get away from their extroverted feeling and start utilizing their introverted thinking. The loop inherently is not a bad thing. It just helps each type gain some clarity. It's kind of like their stress gear, but if we get stuck in there, we can actually become obsessive and it becomes very difficult to climb out of it. So I want to just describe some of the obsessiveness and then some ways that we might be able to help climb out of the loop. So when the ISFJ starts to enter into their loop, they start to become highly analytical of the past. What mistakes happened? What did they do that was wrong? And they're trying to, in a way, fix it. But the more they stay in that loop, the more they find there's just nothing useful and they start to detach from the people closest to them. Normally ISFJs utilize their extroverted feeling to connect to the world around them and connect to people who they really love, the love serving people that are closest to them. But once they start utilizing their introverted thinking, they are pulled away from the outside world, losing connection with it and start diving into the past and becoming more and more reclusive from the warmth that they normally have. So first and foremost, when trying to work on this loop, you need to figure out what is drawing you away from people, what is pushing you into this state of stress. That needs to be addressed in the proper way, and that might need counseling, a friend, just someone to be able to process with to figure out what is happening in your life. Um, but what you can also do as an INSFJ is to stimulate your extroverted feeling functions again. Find ways to serve people, find ways to help the people closest to you. It also can help to be with someone who you dearly love and just express your feelings to them and hear their feelings and process life and just hear their life and just being connected with somebody. You need to find connection again. But if you just do those and not address the actual thing that's pushing you into the loop, those won't help as well as they as we would like them to so if you're an isfj i would love to hear your experiences in the comment section below um, just to be able to help other isfjs that might be seeking ways to climb out of this loop and i'm just going to end on these friendship journals if you find that these might be a fun way to be able to um, connect with others each book has their unique questions just so you have different options um, they are in the description below and i will see you in another video another life you never know see ya